But as we bring Doug Flynn in, the certified financial planner, co-founder of Flynn Zito Capital Management, I, I really want to talk more about the consumer overall with the, uh, the number that was out this morning and where we are on, um, on consumer spending and, and incomes. What did you make of that and uh, what does it mean? Yeah, I mean, it shows that the consumer is still strong and, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that has definitely, look, it, it may, they may not spend as much this year as they did last year, but that still doesn't mean they're not going to spend a lot. They are. The, the, there are some some problems we're seeing, though, with that, I will say. I will see at the lower income area, you're seeing people use credit cards a bit more. Um, hmm. You also see the personal savings rate going down. So it used to be 4.1 percent. It's now 3.7 percent. What that means is that people are spending uh, a little bit more than they've been able to save hmm. in the past. So that's you know, less saving going on, more spending. So, you know, a little less money overall and layoffs are picking up a little bit. So, of course, nothing's ever 100 percent fantastic. No. But but these are good numbers. But could those be early warning signs of some sort of a slowdown off the, you know, the, the better than expected growth we had last year, the credit card issues, for example? Yes, it, it, it definitely it, it definitely shows that uh, if they don't if inflation picks back up, that can be a problem for people. Uh, as always, as you know, two thirds of the U.S. economy is the consumer, and that's much more than other countries. Right. So that the, how that goes is how we go with our GDP. And so, but it's looking good to keep that GDP number pretty good for the one coming out in the first quarter with this with the spending. True. Now, a quick word on Tesla today. We're all very excited for you to get your cyber truck that you ordered, by the <laughs> way. So let us know when that comes in. But the uh, Tesla had a recall: two hundred thousand vehicles, fixing a Rear view glitch is how it's described. Big deal or no? I, I don't think. I mean, it's a big deal if you're trying to back up and, and park. But yeah, <laughs> oh, and I don't know how it's. I yeah. don't know how it's going to work with that truck. With uh, can you even see out the windows? Nobody knows. Right. I'm uh, staying so, away from you when that thing comes in. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to see. I mean, I think that camera is going to be important. But I, another, it's another software Fair. glitch. And so the, the beauty of Tesla recalls is oh. uh, they'll fix that with a, with an update like they update your iPhone. Yeah, big deal. No, not unless you want to see where you're going. Other, other than that, it should be shouldn't really be a problem for anyone. Other <laughs> um, as a final point, we had this story we mentioned it last hour a little bit. I think we can both relate to this. Um, young people, young adults, not always financially independent. Um, well, I shouldn't speak for your 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 son. I think it's working for you. He's, he's very financially independent. I should maybe I'm speaking only for my own kids. But um, this 18 to 34 age group, and you know, a lot of people still living at home, which speaks to the the economy. Um, but you know, one of the other things in the survey did I, that I did find somewhat encouraging. At least they're helping out with the expenses mm -hmm. around the house. But uh, takeaways. Yeah, a couple of takeaways. Uh, six out of ten parents uh, have admitted to helping their their young adult, adult children. And and I do see that a lot with my clients. They'll yeah. they'll even take withdrawals to help them out. Um, I, at some point, you gotta cut them off and kick them out. I mean, that's basically what you need to do at some point. But it is okay to help because I think they receive that help, and 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 uh, and and maybe that helps them get in a better situation because it is a little harder than it was 20 and 30 years ago to get out and afford. Uh, an apartment or a house for sure with where things yeah. are. So I used to say it depends where you live, but it, and it does, but this is all over too now. And it's not as much of a, it's still a big city issue, but you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's tougher and tougher all over the country, right? Some encouraging things. Uh, I do, I do see that people are trying to help their kids become financially independent. Yeah. It isn't always easy. Uh, but, but it, about half the people are actually trying really hard. The problem is when the, when the children look at the parents for what they've done with money and what they've done with their careers, it isn't always following the best advice because they may not have had the best experience themselves. That's but true. at least they're, they're working together. I think the most disturbing thing to me in all of this that I saw was about one out of four parents still track where their young adult children are with those GPS trackers. Yeah, I think you, you got to cut that out. You would think at some point the, the kids would be able to cut that off uh, as uh, the parents wouldn't well, be able to do it, The but... parents are probably paying for their cell phone plan, which I still find almost everybody does well until their 30s. Yeah, that's the whole family plan issue, which is another. I'm trying to figure out a way out of that, too. All right, Doug, thank <laughs> you. Uh, Doug Flynn on all of those things.